We can survive one to two months without food or for three days without any water, but try to live without oxygen, you won't make it past six minutes, you'll die. Now, we all know that getting more oxygen into our cells is vitally important because so many diseases can occur as a result of chronic low oxygen levels. And this is especially true when dealing with nerve damage. A lack of oxygen to the nerves can result in nerve damage or can prevent your already damaged nerves from healing. So in today's video, I'm going to cover why our nerves may have insufficient oxygen reaching them and what you can do to easily and inexpensively turn this around. You don't want to miss this. Coming up. Hey gang, Dr. Valerie Montero here. Are you ready to dive in? Let's do it. Did you know that your nerves require plenty of oxygen to stay healthy or to get healthy? Oxygen is one of the vital fuels and energy supplies that our nerve cells need. And unlike your muscles, your nerves can't store sufficient energy. They need a steady flow of nutrients and oxygen to allow them to fire and send nerve signals and messages throughout the body. Through our normal breathing process, as oxygen enters our body, it gets delivered by our red blood cells to our nerves. Since breathing is an automatic mechanism for our bodies, we just assume that we're getting in enough oxygen, right? <laughs> well, guess again. Since we've become a population that is primarily sedentary, we've developed poor breathing habits. Let's face it, we don't exercise regularly and we don't move very much unless it's from the couch in front of the TV to the refrigerator. As a result, we've turned into a society of shallow breathers. We don't regularly take long, deep breaths that fill our lungs and deliver an abundance of oxygen to our cells. And a large part of this is because we spend hours hunched over a computer or a laptop, we slouch when we sit or stand, and we're in a constant state of stress and hurry, which has all contributed to shallow breathing. So today, I'm going to reveal the secrets of how to increase the valuable oxygen into your nerve cells to help in your recovery from peripheral neuropathy. First, I want to discuss the difference between breathing through your nose versus breathing through your mouth. Studies have shown that people who breathe through their mouth on a regular basis get less oxygen into their body and their bloodstream. So let's look at the distinct advantages of breathing through your nose and oxygenation. Your nasal passageways prepare the air you breathe for delivery into your lungs by acting as a humidifier and warming and moistening the air that you inhale. And they also remove debris like pollen or unfriendly mic uh, microbes. Nose breathing also adds resistance to the airstream. This increases the oxygen uptake by maintaining the lungs elasticity. So it makes your lungs stronger. But what you may not know is that breathing through your nose improves your oxygenation due to the nitric oxide production in your nasal passageways. Nitric oxide is produced in the nasal sinuses by specific enzymes, and it plays an instrumental role in delivering oxygen around the body efficiently because it regulates blood flow. Now, with mouth breathing, you don't get any of this nitric oxide production. So it's important to practice mastering the art of proper breathing to increase your oxygenation to your nerves and actually increase your nitric oxide levels as well. Begin with these techniques. Lie down on your back, stand up or sit up straight. Place one or both hands on your stomach. Start with a very deep breath in through your nose to the count of four. This breath should move into your stomach, allowing your belly to expand. You should not feel your chest rise, only your abdomen. Exhale slowly to the count of four or five through either your nose or your mouth. Always breathe in through your nose, but the exhalation can occur from the nose or the mouth. After practicing this with time, you'll naturally begin to breathe deeper without thinking about it. Next. Let's talk about several other things in addition that you can do to increase oxygenation to your body. One thing is you can put more plants in your house. Plants add oxygen into your home air and certain plants produce more oxygen than others. Five of the highest oxy oxygen producing plants are the Eureka palm, the spider plant, the snake plant, the money tree, and the Gerber daisy. If you have cats or dogs, you certainly want to avoid putting a snake plant into your home. They're highly toxic to our fur babies. The other four plants are completely safe. 
Next, sleep with your windows open. This is the single most effective way to avoid carbon dioxide buildup while allowing fresh oxygen in. Also, spend more time outside. The fresh air helps to raise oxygen levels to your brain and your body, which also increases your serotonin levels and improves your mood. Exercise. Now, this might be limiting for many of you with peripheral neuropathy, but even just doing the neuropathy exercises we recorded for you on this channel will help you get more oxygen into your bloodstream and it will transport it to your nerves. Next, focus on nose breathing. Engage in guided breathing exercises. You can find a wide variety on these, of these videos on YouTube, starting with five minute breathing exercises videos, all the way on up to 30 minutes. It's a great way to relax and displace your focus from your pain or the symptoms that you're suffering from your peripheral neuropathy. And it will also supply your nerves with more oxygen. Next, meditation. If you watched many of my videos, you've heard me mention a few times how crucial meditation is for healing, not just for your peace of mind and lowering stress, which it's great for, but also for improving your circulation. The better your circulation, the better the oxygen delivery to your nerves. The last thing I want to mention that will have a huge impact on your oxygenation to your nerves and every cell in your body is a technique called the Wim Hof breathing method. This is an incredibly powerful breathing technique that has been widely researched throughout the world. I'm not going to go into um, great detail about this uh, technique on this video because there's so much information on YouTube and I could spend a half hour just on this technique alone. So just look it up on YouTube, on the internet. You'll find um, incredible information about it. You'll find the research studies and it's an amazingly powerful breathing technique. And Dr. Koppel and I do this on a regular basis for improving and maintaining our health. Scientific studies have proven that the Wim Hof breathing method makes your blood more alkaline Line, delivers more oxygen to every cell in your body, especially your nervous system. It decreases inflammation, improves your immune system, improves sleep, which is so important for peripheral neuropathy sufferers. It also increases energy, it improves focus, and improves respiratory disorders like asthma. Now, I could go on and on about the Wim Hof method, but I won't. Make sure you check this out to improve your nerve recovery. So let's look at how you can monitor the oxygenation in your body. You want to use a device called a pulse oximeter, or some people pronounce it oximeter. This looks like a little clip you place on your finger, which reads the percentage of saturation of oxygen in your blood. A normal reading is between 95 to 100%, but really you want yours. An optimal reading is between 98% to 100%. I would test yourself initially a few times a day at different times of the day because your oxygen levels will change based on what you're doing. If you find you're closer to the 95% or lower, there are nutrients that you can take to help increase the carrying capacity of oxygen in your bloodstream along with doing some of the other things I mentioned earlier. These nutrients are zinc. You'd want to take about 30 milligrams a day. You can also take vitamin E, which will increase your oxygen carrying capacity. And I recommend about 200 to 400 milligrams daily. And you definitely want to take this in the form of toco, uh, tocotrienols. You also want to take lipoic acid or alpha lipoic acid. Either one is great. And you want to take about 300 milligrams to 600 milligrams daily. Vitamin D3 is another uh, critical vitamin that you want to take. And I recommend taking about 10,000 IUs daily and vitamin B12 in the form of methylcobalamin will certainly help your oxygen carrying capacity. And you wanna take between 1500 micrograms to 3000 micrograms daily. If you're already taking a good quality nerve support formula, you'll notice that you're getting a few of these in your formula. I'll also include some links in the description box down below to the supplements that I use for my patients that help increase their oxygen carrying capacity. Well gang, that's it for today. Instituting these breathing principles will improve your recovery from peripheral neuropathy, especially when you institute it along with taking a good quality nerve support formula and incorporating certainly an anti-inflammatory diet. These things will help your nerve recovery immensely. I sincerely hope you use this inf information to reclaim back all parts of your health. 
If you're enjoying our videos, please don't forget to like us and click on the bell to get notified as soon as we release new, vi new videos. And before you go, if any of my content has helped you or a family member, I would love to hear about it. Please share it in the comments section down below. Until next time, my friends, I look forward to seeing you on the road to great nerve health. Blessings. Especially, do that again. <laughs> yeah, same place. <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs>